This video focuses on the Dell EMC PowerEdge T640 tower server. This is a newer model replacing Dell PowerEdge T630. This model accommodates up to 18 3.5 inch hard drives. We previously covered the Dell PowerEdge T630 in a couple of videos. The server showcased here includes a rack mount kit available from Dell, albeit at a higher cost. From the front view, it closely resembles the T630. Positioned in the top left corner is the power button. Information LED light is in the center. On the top right, there are ports, including SVGA, one USB 2.0, one USB 3.0, and an iDRAC USB management port. Notably, this system does not feature an optional DVD drive. Now, let's examine the rear of the system. From the rear of the system, you can observe numerous PCIe slots available. This configuration includes two 750-watt power supplies, which have the option to be upgraded to 2200 watts. It's important to note that the power supply wattage specified assumes 220 volts. If running on 110 volts, it will produce only half of the wattage. Moving to the upper left, there is a serial port, followed by an SVGA port, four USB 3.0 ports, two USB 2.0 ports, an iDRAC port, and two RJ45 10 gigabit network ports. Our client has requested us to enhance the system with our recommended components. Next, we will review these parts. These are the components slated for installation. Our standard practice involves installing the operating system on separate storage, and the Dell Boss SATA SSD card is ideal for this purpose. We will configure the card in RAID 1 and install Ubuntu Server with a desktop environment. For processors, we've opted for Intel Xeon Gold 6148 CPUs, renowned for their performance with 20 cores, a base clock speed of 2.4 GHz, and a max turbo frequency of 3.7 GHz, as evidenced by benchmarks. Additionally, we will integrate four sticks of 64 GB ECC registered memory each, totaling 256 GB of memory. After removing the cover, we can see 18 bay 3.5 inch backplane. It's worth noting that the Dell T640 with an 18 bay configuration is quite rare, commanding a significant premium in the used market. Behind the backplane, there are four large fans dedicated to keeping the SAS Enterprise hard drives cool, given their tendency to generate substantial heat. Additionally, two fans positioned at the rear assist in cooling the memory and CPUs, forming part of the air baffle structure. Alongside the air baffle, Ample PCIe ports are visible on each side, each marked to indicate its association with a specific CPU. Notably, the RAID card is strategically located in the center of the motherboard, optimizing the use of PCIe ports. Next, we will remove the air baffle to inspect the CPUs and memory slots. Upon removing the air baffle, you'll notice two substantial heat sinks equipped with copper pipes for enhanced cooling efficiency. The Dell T630 boasts a remarkable 24 memory slots, supporting ECC registered memory with a maximum capacity of 1.5 terabytes. The motherboard includes an internal USB port and a couple of SATA ports suitable for DVD drives or other storage media. Additionally, there is a dedicated port for dual SD cards, which we typically utilize when installing VMware ESXi at a client's request. Next, we will proceed with the operating system installation and provide a summary of the system. We have installed Ubuntu Server and Ubuntu Desktop, a somewhat unconventional setup, but necessary as our client intends to use this system, both as a workstation and server, despite having limited Linux expertise. To simplify administration, we've also integrated Webmin. Using the onboard RAID card, we configured RAID 1 for the initial two 10K SAS hard drives providing a total storage capacity of 1.2 terabytes. The remaining drives, consisting of two terabytes 7.2K SAS drives, are set up in RAID 6. The system operates quietly and is highly power efficient, with support for up to 56 cores, 1.5 terabytes of memory, and 396 terabytes of storage. It offers robust performance across diverse workloads. Oh.